You've got three Super Bowl rings. You've been voted most valuable player in two of those Super Bowls. Uh, you're probably the most glamorous player in the NFL. But it hasn't always been like that, right? It hasn't always been easy. No, I mean, it's, it's never come easy for me. It's never, I don't think my mind allows me to rest ever or for things to come easy because I, I have, I think, a, a chip on my shoulder um, and some deep scars that I don't think will heal because I was always the person who was always trying to, and I know everybody has these stories of hardships, but I was always the one that no one ever picked. That was the backup quarterback on a freshman team that didn't win a game. I only played my second year because my best friend, who was the quarterback who started ahead of me, he quit playing. And then finally I get my chance, my junior year to play, and we go six and four. My senior year we go five and five, and I'm recruited to go to Michigan. Yep. You were the seventh-ranked quarterback there when you came in, right? Yep. You thought you might not play. I thought I might not play. I thought, you know, I, I didn't know if I'd be continue to play football. So here you are playing in the NFL. Yeah. And you keep winning. And you end up in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Have you always been this good and nobody recognized it? Or what happened? It's not like I can point to any one thing that says this is when it happened. Or It's not like I was a bad football player in high school. I just wasn't good enough to be mentioned with the And it wasn't like I was a bad football player in college. I just wasn't good enough to be mentioned with some of that. And I think I came into a great situation here. I think it's been a great coach, a great owner, and great teammates. And what this team has needed, I feel like I can provide. There are some people in some people around the league, sports writers, players, coaches that think you're probably no better than the fourth or fifth best quarterback in the NFL. Where would you rank yourself? Oh, that's the worst question in the world. That's uh, I, I mean, putting a rank on it. I don't care whether they think I'm the best or the second best or the third best. I mean, I got three Super Bowl rings, so that speaks. Hey, you can say whatever you want, but look at these diamonds on these fingers. I mean, that's, that speaks for itself. I mean, that shuts a lot of people up. Which of the rings do you like the best? What's uh, your favorite ring? My favorite ring. We always said, and I said always the next one. The next one's the best.